Here's a quick look at the little prototype I've made for my radiator sensor. So I'm opting to use um, these sensors here. These are thermistors. There's a copper plate in there you can see. And then on the other end, there's just, I don't know if I can get it. There's just two, two wires. So essentially the way these work is that they provide a fixed amount of resistance at a certain temperature. And then you use a, a voltage divider arrangement using the resistors. Uh, so that you can then read or sort of work out what the actual uh, temperature is. So these are 10K at, I think it's like 25 degrees or something. Um, each one is kind of slightly different. So that means that um, if I have two uh, 10K resistors, um, I can create a divider and then feed in a voltage. And then if say if I feed in three volts um, into it, then I'll get back one and a half volts when this is at uh, 25 degrees. So it's easy then to work out up or down at what the temperature is. Um, I've opted to use these instead of uh, like, a, like a digital one. This is a, I think is a DS18B20 something. And that's kind of all it is. It's more of a digital, it's a digital probe. Um, and you can read them. I've got like this is a, a another prototype I was working on using a different board um, and you can see these have got three wires so there's kind of a data wire and then the uh, positive and negative but I've just found these really difficult to um, to get a good reading off so when I connect them to a pipe and I've ditched them then in favor of these kind of probes. So you can see this has got a nice little collar so you can wrap it around the pipe and connect it in. And that just gives a much better, much gives better contact. And I think they're also a bit quicker in terms of giving the reading. So back to the prototype, um, I'm using a, a Nordic board on here. This is an NRF A240. Um, and this is a seed, uh, I think it's Zhao, Z-I-A-O, um, is the model. So um, I've opted for these because they provide really good analog to digital conversion, uh, which makes my life easier. Um, so you can see that there's basically the two 10K resistors, this one there and one there. Um, they provide the voltage divider. And then this little guy has a Bluetooth um, BLE, uh, radio in it so it simply broadcasts um, the, the readings from the the two probes so i've taken that um i've kind of gone through a couple of iterations um so first of all i tried a bit proto board i hate this stuff um, i find it really difficult to to make the connections on the back but that's essentially the same arrangement you've got the two 10k resistors um two little beds so I can disconnect the uh, the little NRF um, and then more recently I've kind of refined it a bit using a bit of strip board and I think this is a, a, a tidier arrangement um, I've also put little connectors crimp these on to the uh, to the to the probes um, and that's a lot less soldering uh, in this one so yeah so that's it that was a quick look at my my little temperature sensor for my radiators that i'm building